said that the husband took her to couples therapy to tell the therapist he didn't want to work on the marriage. He just brought her there so she could see you. Yes, Lemon, unfortunately that happens. We call that dropping your spouse off at therapy. It is not a cool thing to do. All that does is basically triangulate a therapist into the anxiety of doing the breakup. Especially if the person manipulated that person into therapy and they went in there thinking that they were going to be working on the relationship and then they got dropped off basically because the person said, never mind, I'm done. Talk to the therapist about it. It's a really shitty thing to do. And yes, people do it a lot. Unfortunately, if you're out there watching this, please don't do that. It's not cool to the person. I mean, I will sit there and we'll work with the person if they want to do it, but not cool. A lot of people don't like to carry the accountability that comes along with breaking up with somebody. If you want to break up with somebody, be accountable for that. Own up to how shitty, how hard that is to do, but own the fact that you've made the decision to do that and be an adult. I believe that wholeheartedly. And if you do, as I said the other day, if you do the breaking up, you don't get to decide how a person responds. But dropping your spouse off at therapy, it's just, it puts the therapist in an awkward spot. It puts that other person in an awkward spot. Now, granted, I say that, and there are times where I have seen that happen where it actually ended up being beneficial because then the person was able to work with the therapist to see that they probably were done a favor by the person ending the relationship, especially if it's a person that would drop them off at therapy. But it doesn't change that that really sucks and feels crappy, especially, I mean, and it feels crappy on the therapist side of things too. I've had people break up in session, but to do that on a first session is 